What is going on everybody? Hey, we are doing a welcome back to the second player review of this evening. It's another brand new inform that we're taking a look at and this time it is the turn of Thomas Delaney, a player that I've got to be honest, I'm very unfamiliar with, but I saw this card when the team of the week got announced. I thought it looks incredible as a potential CDM and for the price that it's going, the stats that it's got, I want to take a look at this guy and give him the player review treatment. So if you do enjoy this review, lads, as always, smash the thumbs up button. If you get yourself a 35 likes, it would be incredible. And don't forget to click that subscribe button down below to become a part of the Ninja Nation. But we're going to kick things off with Delaney with the basic information. And he's standing at six foot tall exactly. He's got medium to high work rates. He's got two star skill moves and a five star weak foot, which you guys know I always love when a player's got a five star weak foot. His top five in-game stats in his base card is an 81 rated central midfielder and his base card on his uh, on his card the stats are massively upgraded from his regular gold upgraded card and they are 75 pace 80 dribbling 80 shooting which is up 11 from his upgraded card 78 passing 85 physical and 78 defending so a very well rounded card he comes with 99 stamina 90 shot power 88 jumping 83 ball control and 82 short passing and the only two traits and specialities that he comes with are leadership and the long passer as well Look at the team that we used to be in. It's the 4-3-1-2 setup, exactly the same team that we used for the Info Mario Gomez review that went out earlier today. If you did miss that, there'll be a link at the end of the video and in the top right hand corner of your screen now. But focusing on Delaney in that right central mid spot, he came away with one goal and three assists, which may not sound fantastic, but I did have him set up as a stay back while attacking CDM. Because like I said, just I saw his stats, I saw the potential of the card, and a CDM is where I think this guy would flourish. So that's how I played him now. We're going to start to roll some of the clips of him in action now, and a lot of these clips may not look particularly exciting because it's just the dirty work that a CDM has to go through that you're going to be seeing here. And as a CDM, I think this guy is absolutely fantastic. You may have seen just on the stats as well on this guy when I showed you his record, I picked him up for 10 thousand coins which is literally discard literally you can discard him for like 200 coins less than that now when you think about that i think this guy is an absolute steal now he's got fantastic height work rates and physicality to be a CDM basically. Medium high is perfect, he's six foot which is fantastic, he's got great defending and physical stats, particularly if you put like a shadow card on him, something of that elk, that would take him to the next level. He's got fantastic five star weak foot, he's got 99 stamina and he's got 90 shot power as well, so he has got the potential, although I didn't score any, to get some long shots off as well. Now, those are all fantastic stats for a CDM, which I think is a particular area where the Bundesliga falls a bit short. I don't think there's many great CDMs, particularly ones with medium-high work rates. There's many people like Arturo Vidal that are great for box-to-box, -box. Goretzka people like that, Renato Sanchez. But as far as someone that's going to do a job staying back, I think this guy could be the best in the business for Bundesliga. The only real negatives for him are the fact that he's got two-star skill moves, which isn't fantastic, obviously. The fact that he's playing for Werder Bremen and he's Danish does mean that he's difficult to hybrid into other leagues. I mean, if you're in a flat-out Bundesliga team, it's fine, but getting strong links in team isn't easy if you're building a hybrid, and that's the situation you're in. And also his finishing, particularly finesse shots, weren't fantastic. He doesn't seem to have that technical ability to finesse a shot, and he's more about raw power when you're going for goal with him. But overall, I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10. I think purely for the fact that you can beat this guy up for 10k and the stats that he has, he is absolutely fantastic. I really do think this guy could be a bit of a hidden gem and go um, go under the radar a lot in this team of the week, particularly just for the fact, like I said, that he's going for 10k is absolutely crazy. But that is going to round up this player review. Lads, like I said at the start, if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it. As always, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll speak to you all in the next video, lads. Need you out. Yo, his niche plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the.